Antonio Olivero here with Jeremy Schneider, uh, recapping last night's game of the year. IHA number two, Northern Highlands number one. Jeremy, take it from there. Give us, give us, give us the dish. What happened last night? The hype is real, man. It was, it lived up to the billing. It was uh, Monday night football, if you will, and uh, you know the, the better team won. Uh, Northern Highlands losing for the first time in 88 games, first time since 2010, I think. It's uh. It was pretty mesmerizing, you know. IHA had been great all year, and you know, you told me, you said don't count on IHA, and you know, I picked Northern Highlands. Uh, I'm not terribly surprised, but it is. I mean, it's a shocker. You know, the uh, the level of play was just incredible. So much talent on the field at every level, um, and uh, it was it was just incredible. It was it was great. I can't. I, I, I I've covered really great games for the Ledger. Uh, some really great basketball, some really good lacrosse, and some really good soccer. Last year's Bergen final was great too, but this was this was something else. Yeah. I mean, anytime a team loses for the first time in 88 games, loses for the first time in almost half a decade, I think that's something that 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 you know takes takes a state kind of by storm, and everyone kind of kind of takes notice of it. Um, you mentioned a terrific first half there. Uh, both teams playing extremely well. IHA really out of the gate, you know, Hannah Kerner didn't start the game. They really kind of took it to Northern Highlands and kind of, you know, imposed themselves and let Northern Highlands know this is how the game's going to go. Um, so, you know, I think that, that gets us to some of the differences from last year's game that ended up in a tie. What were some of the things you noticed? Well, Kerner, Kerner being out with the concussion to start the game uh, certainly was a factor that they it let IHA get the upper hand early. They were the aggressor. They were generating the chances, winning possession. And I mean, last year Kerner played. I'm pretty sure she played the whole game. Even though I think she was dealing with a separated shoulder at that point, and she still played because she's just real tough. But that she was missed. You know, I mean, I I say got the chances there, and um, I think that was the biggest difference, really. Also, uh, Rebecca Jarrett as a freshman. I mean, she scored the first goal off a, a great pass from Alex Mitsuropian, and I don't think that that uh, Northern Highlands really had an answer for her. She she has blazing speed. I mean, I'd love to see her and Hannah Kerner in a foot race. That'd be that'd be something. But that was a big difference, and um, they just they weren't they weren't phased. They, they, you know, I think there were times against uh, in, in the final last year that IJ kind of had a deer in the headlights look. Uh, they recovered obviously to draw, but they um they 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 took the moment. They seized the moment, and they were the better team. Yeah, you mentioned Mesropian. Um, you know, with the game-winning goal coming back from the injury. Also, you know, throughout the whole field for IHA, you go from the midfield, you mentioned playing so well all the way back to Taylor Lupe. Um, and, and before the season, Brandon Silva told me, you know, verbatim, he said, you know, this team, no one can, you know, only a few teams can hold a candle to it with regards to talent and depth. What's going to be the question is collectiveness, cohesiveness, staying calm, and, you know, he, you know, he said making, keeping everyone happy. From the team you saw yesterday in IHA, obviously knocking off Northern Highlands, what are your thoughts on what they've become as as a unit? Well, it's funny because they uh, Alex said this herself. They as soon as Kerner scored, I mean, just a stunning goal right after uh, Jarrett put put uh, IHA ahead. Um, that it was kind of a shock for them to you know get, I mean you concede something so quickly. It's it's tied going to the half. Momentum seemingly headed towards Northern Highlands way. But they they stayed composed. They um they didn't I mean it didn't it didn't phase them. They they didn't get shook and they just kept going. The, the second half was definitely much more even. But they I mean and, and honestly it's tied. It's I mean there's ten minutes left. I'm thinking Kerner's gonna break three break free. She's gonna score something. Uh some I mean I, I thought I thought the Highlanders would pull it out. But then I mean just a beautiful move from from Alex Mithropian to to I mean cut through a really good Northern Highlands defense. Bury the shot, and and then from that point on, they 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 really were, they held onto the ball in the final minutes. Northern Highlands never really threatened that much. They they looked like they knew what they were doing, and I mean they really combined talent with composure and coaching, and I mean a good strategy to pull off I mean, the, the win of the year. Of all the games I've seen this year, that Misropian play was probably the best one on one play I've seen. How about you? You've seen a lot of games. <sighs> yeah, you know it's it's up there. <laughs> it, that's. Uh, you know, MSG Varsity has some real nice video of it. Yeah, yeah. Um, you should check it out. She just cut. I mean, went left, went right, bang. And uh, it's you know to, to do that. She was ailing as well. She, I mean, she hurt herself in the semis, and there was there was a question if she was going to play in this one. She did not look hampered at all. She uh, she 
She looked. I saw her against score a really nice goal against Wayne Hills earlier in the year, and she looked good in that game. She looked even better in this one. She was so motivated, and uh, made the most of her chances. She she was the, the man of the match and a uh, player of the year candidate now. Mm -hmm. And moving forward for each of these teams, two different kind of worlds for them. Number one, you got Northern Highlands, 88's over. You got to start mm -hmm. a new streak of of whatever, and you got to you know try to win states yet again after this kind of a loss. You know you you know we we think they have the leadership to do that. IHA, they're number one now. Mm -hmm. They are, you know, you know, they're not quite 88 game in a row, Northern Highlands, but they're Northern Highlands now. Uh, it seems like they maybe have stiffer tests coming up in, in, in the tournament coming up than Northern Highlands, but thoughts on uh, each of these teams' roads to finish out the year? I'd be pretty surprised if either of them lost. They um, they both have tough tests, especially uh, IHA with the, with the non-public A group with, you know, got Pangry, and you got uh, Bishop R. And, I mean, we'll see how that goes. But if Joe Vassal is healthy for that matchup, if they get there, Northern Highlands, I feel bad for anyone they play at this point. They are going to be angry. They're going to be motivated. They're going to want to prove a point. They, um, they, they're, they're going to, they're going to extract some revenge. Uh, they won't be able to get true revenge until the Bergen final next year. But I, I, it just would be pretty stunning if either of them lost. You know, it's funny. Ramapo, I mean, the the semifinalist from Bergen. They're they're probably gonna win group two. Bergen County might be the best best uh, county in the state at this point, and it's just magnificent the type of soccer that's being played. I mean, uh, Coach Silva mentioned that IHA and Northern Highlands separated by five miles or so, and yet I mean, two of the best teams in the nation going at it. Yeah, we got a great half. We got a great game. We got great performances from players. You know, the game of the year lived up to the billing. So you know, as New Jersey soccer fans. You know, I think we should, we should be very happy oh, yeah. with, with what we saw yesterday and what's on the horizon for the rest of the year. So anyways, for Jeremy Schneider, Antonio Libero for New Jersey Advanced Media and NJ.com signing off.